Hi, I'm Mary Director and I'm a Fun Stampers Journey Coach. I have a blog. It's createscartsjourney.blogspot.com. My business website is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director. And I'm also on Facebook, facebook.com slash createscartsjourney. And I will bring this back at the end of the video. Today I'm going to show you a technique that's called shaving cream background technique. I will forewarn you, it's a bit messy, but it's so worth it. It makes the most beautiful backgrounds and kind of gives you a marbleized effect. What you're gonna need is some type of shaving foam. It needs to be foam, not gel, and it needs to be white in color. So some of the gels are green or blue, whatever, but you wanna make sure that you have a foam um, shave cream. Comes in an aerosol can. Just be careful that if you're also doing heat embossing that you don't have this can near anything um, hot or produces heat because it is flammable um, or combustible. Okay, so what we're going to do, this uh, brand that I'm using, there is a slight odor too, but it's nothing strong. I'm just going to go ahead, oh I guess it helps if I take the protective cap off. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to spray shaving cream here. And you don't need a huge amount. You are going to need, though, a piece of a paper plate or some type of plastic container that will allow you to put your sheet of cardstock down. So this is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm also going to use some Journey, uh, Fun Stampers Journey liquid color. This is Limeade Splash, Pretty Amethyst, and Watermelon Fusion. You just put a little bit, so a couple drops of each one. And there's not a right or wrong way to do this. You could also do this with reinkers, any type of liquid color. So your ink reinkers would work too. It's really pretty with different shades of blues. This is the first time I've done this combination. I thought it would be nice, so we'll try that. And this purple's a little deeper. Okay. Then I'm gonna take you can either use a plastic knife. I have our crease tool, and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna swirl the colors. And again, there's no right or wrong. We just want the colors to be all intermixed. Okay, again, this is messy. So I would recommend having some baby wipes handy and or paper towels so that you can, you know, clean things off. Okay, so now I've got this mixed. I'm gonna take, just this is just plain whipped cream cardstock. I'm gonna set it and I'm gonna press down on it. And again, it is a little messy. I'm gonna lift up. And when I lift up, you'll see there's quite a bit of shaving cream on there. I'm going to move my plate aside. You go through with your crease tool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sh um, scrape this off. And you can put it right back into the plate. Or you can wipe it off and do a, you know, a um, paper towel. But see the beautiful background this created? Oh, I love this. I'm glad we used these colors. Okay. <clears throat> so then, um, I want to clean this up so we don't get it on the backs of our um, project that I'm working on. Then, once you've done that, you take a dry paper towel and you wipe off the top. And this gets any excess shaving cream off. Oh my gosh, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? That's gonna be beautiful, beautiful background 
or I could use a die and cut out a flower or a heart from it. Then you set this aside to dry. Now we still have plenty of shaving cream left. If I wanted, I could add in a little more color. So let's say I want a little more purple. I'm just going to go ahead and add in a couple more drops. I'm going to blend it around. And you don't want to you don't want to stir and stir cuz this will mix it all together and then you're going to end up with kind of a a mud. Oops. Sorry about that. I have a <laughs> really apologize for that. I have a, a touch lamp here and I accidentally hit it. Okay, so we're going to try it again. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to press down so we get good coverage. And we're going to bring it bring it up. And as you can see, now this one's going to be more muted because I blended the colors back together. Okay, I'm going to take my crease tool. And again, you could do this with a plastic knife if you had. Oh, this is gorgeous. Love, love, love this. Oh, we did get this is just a little lighter than the other one it actually it actually turned out pretty good it turned out you know a deeper color than I was expecting so that's wonderful I'm gonna just clean this up this is just a baby wipe that I'm using and then again we're going to use a dry paper towel and we're going to come up and over and we're going to clean off any of the excess shaving cream that's on there clear off my work surface and the work surface that I'm working in here is just regular um, baking parchment paper I'm working on the kitchen counter today so I wanted to protect the counter oh I love this look at these look at this are these not gorgeous this yeah this is this is wonderful and so easy to do so easy let's do one more should we add in a little bit more of the pink, which is our watermelon fusion? And as you can see, there's still lots of shaving cream here. <laughs> so we could do lots of backdrops if we wanted. And you don't have to add the color in each time. Um, I just wanted to bring in a little bit more color to it. Um, you truly don't need to do this. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more of the purple in also and the purple's pretty amethyst okay and I'm going to take my crease tool and I'm going to stir it a little mix it in clean off my crease tool you'll go through a lot of paper towels and baby wipes when you do this and again, a little messy, so just be prepared. Um, might be advisable to put on an apron or a shirt that doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to press down. And we're going to lift up. Oh, looks like we got some good colors. And then I'm going to take my crease tool again. And I'm going to spread it off. Spread it off. Baby wipes really come in handy with this. Now, if I wanted, I could pick up some other color. Let's just see, and I'm going to do this. Let's bring in some more pink. And I could spread it in. I like the look better, though, when it's picked up right from the... Um, you know, when you put the paper down, it gives it a more, you know, better marbled look. But you could fill in a spot if you needed to. You also could redip this into the shaving cream. Okay, then we're going to take the paper towel, get off any excess, 
and then allow these to dry. Um, this is just regular cardstock that I've used, and I don't see that it's really curling. There's a little bit of a curl to it, but I think by the time you put the um, adhesive on the back, so it's on the background <clears throat> to a card base, you know, it'll be the background for a card base, um, you really will have it flat. You could also, you know, put a weight on top after it's dried. So here's my three backgrounds. It didn't even take 10 minutes to explain to you how to do it and create them. Each one is uniquely different. All three are beautiful marble colors. I'm done with this now because I used a paper plate. It could just be tossed in the trash. Um, if I used our media tray that we sell, um, I just would rinse it out in the kitchen sink. But um, just you know, go ahead and toss this when you're done. So again, all it was was true shaving cream, so it's white, and I used three different liquid colors, Pretty Amethyst, Limeade Splash, and Watermelon Fusion. You can use any color you want. Our reinkers will do the same thing. I appreciate you watching my video today. Thank you so much. And again, if you'd like to purchase any product, my business website is funstampersjourney.com slash Mary Director. Thank you.